hello everyone in this tutorial i will show you how to copy every nth row in excel so let's get started suppose we need to copy the second rows that is every second row so the value of n is 2 then the most basic way to do this can be just manually select the rows so hold ctrl and then select them like this right click and copy and then just paste them okay but this can be a practical way for larger data sets right so let's just try to use the cell references from the data set to copy them directly okay so equal to the first row for the first row fix the column here by pressing f4 okay then copy the formula to the right okay so we get the uh, first second row okay then for the next one so this one okay again copy it to the right good so we get the first two rows okay so the second and the fourth okay now just select these two rows and then press ctrl h okay to go to the replace window and then replace the equal sign with an apostrophe before it okay so apostrophe equal to okay and then replace them okay close now copy the formula down below okay, that's enough so now we will get the uh, so the second row that is row a row 3 so 5 7 9 11 and so on okay now go to the data tab okay before that just select a single row here go to the sorry single column go to the data tab and then click text to columns okay next next and finish now we get the values in its instead of the cell references do the same for the other columns you can use alt a e shortcut okay and the final one alt a e okay so this is one way to do this now let's try to use a formula instead so let's say equal to if function <coughs> mod function okay so row the first row so a2 divided by the value of n fix the value of n as it will not change so bracket okay equal to one if it's true then we want the entire row otherwise just an empty string okay so let's see as the value of n is two the first row is not being returned okay so let's copy it down below okay now we get every second row so two four six eight so on okay but there are empty rows so okay first let's try to change the value of n so let's say three okay so it is working right let's change it to six good so six twelve eighteen okay so let's see okay now what to do to clear the empty rows you can just filter them out so let's just go to the home tab and then filter and then you can filter out the blanks okay now we can just copy them paste them to a separate place okay now you can let's say clear the filter and we don't need this anymore and you get 
every sixth rows okay so this is another way to do this now let's try another formula this time we'll use the offset function so offset the first row close the reference so fix it by pressing f4 then bracket row the first row so a2 minus sorry minus one close the bracket times the value of n fix it always fix the value of n okay or the reference for the value of n n minus one okay comma put a zero close the bracket okay so we get the second row and copy the formula down below let's see okay we got one more okay so this works better than the other methods i think no okay now let's try the index formula so equal to index so we want to use the entire reference for the entire data set fix the reference by pressing f4 okay then this time the rows function not the row function tab the first row colon okay now just fix the first part of the reference okay like this rows times the value of n fix the reference okay put a comma after that okay good now copy the formula down below let's say to this one okay now if you change the value of n this works too okay okay now let's try to create an arrow so that we do not have to let's say copy the formula down below for uh, the entire data set okay so let's combine the filter function with the condition used in the if function so equal to filter okay we want to filter the entire data set okay that's good now the condition is mod row so we want all of the rows so a2 to a21 okay good okay we want to divide them by the value of n and you must fix this reference okay if this is equal to one that is the remainder is one then we want to filter out the corresponding rows okay so let's see okay so we get the second fourth sixth let's change the value of n very good five okay so this is much better than the earlier methods now let's try to create an user defined function using the visual basic okay so if you do not have the developer tab i have a link in the de description you can watch it how to enable the developer tab okay and then go to visual basic or world plus f11 okay or let's say right click on the sheet tab and then let's say go to view code right now insert and create a module okay and then paste this code i have it in my clipboard here 
okay so this is the code to use okay the function is copy in rows and there is only two arguments that is the data range inter data range and the value of n okay now save it as a macro in our book okay so change it to excel sm save very good now you can use the custom function so copy in rows the first argument is entire data set and the second argument is the value of n okay good if you change the value of n to 3 it works just fine okay so brilliant so that is how to copy every intro in excel hope you find this video useful please like comment and subscribe thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video